Indiana Jones and I have one thing in common. We, we're, neither one of us are likely to own a snake for a pet. But I have to tell you, Helio is, is beautiful. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah. Let's, let's do talk about snakes as pets. And, and you know, I, I, I don't wish ill on snakes. Uh, I'm, and so I want people to make wise decisions about their pets always, regardless of what they are. How big a commitment is owning uh, Helio? Well, they're a pretty big commitment. Yeah. People don't realize, you know, 90% of the animals that I see, uh, especially the reptiles, it's a husbandry issue, a feeding yeah. and husbandry issue. People can't seem to get what they need or mimic what they need from the wild into their home, which is difficult. And, and uh, how long a commitment am I making? How long do snakes uh, stick around? Well, he Because turtles live a really long time. They do. I have several turtles. Some of them can go, the, the turtles and tortoises can go well into their 90s. Snakes can go 20 plus years. Wow. Yeah, wow, long yeah. Long time. All right. I'm assuming that uh, if the snake industry is booming, it's bad news for my mouse friends. Is that correct? That is correct. <laughs> a, he, so Helios oh, is hello. about, he's about seven and he eats a whole rat. Actually, a frozen rat. Uh, let me let me just verify that. A rat sickle. A uh, rat sickle um, once a week. Okay. And so you know there is some cost involved with that. They can run anywhere from three to five dollars a rat. I can pop by and pick okay. up frozen rats. Yep, at your local pet store. Okay. But All you, right. you know, or online. Actually, you definitely want to look for the quality of the rat too. I can get frozen rats delivered to my house. You can. That is Absolutely. Fantastic. I know the world of internet. Hello. But Helio. you want to make sure too. You know that they have the proper light source. That's really important. A soaking bin. You can see he has a little bowl. There. There. I like to put a little rose water in it, um, a little DMG, which is a, an immune system supplement. Also, they have these great heating sheets now that you oh. can put underneath. So you that's know. good because they're cold blooded critters. Right. And you know, when they're cold, yeah. there's nothing to do. And you can feel them now. I mean, if you touch him, he's really cold he's right now. He's very cold to the right? touch. I, I'll touch the non business end here if you don't mind. Um, you said when you first pulled him out, you just said, Helio, he's really sweet. And I, I, I Again, I want to encourage people to have pets that they love, so I'm, I'm trying to be open-minded. How do I know if my, my snake is sweet? Well, I, my response was he's, he's not biting anyone, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you need to be careful, right, especially when you feed them. I like to recommend they get a little crusty when they're shedding, Okay. Um, you know, and when you're feeding, they can get a little territorial, so you definitely need to be careful. Some people take them out of their tank, put them into another tank to feed. Yeah, I've heard that, so right? that they don't ever think your food when you're reaching into the right. tank that you normally right. pick them up out of, and they, and they like hiding in their little spot, and if they're all hiding in their yep. spot, leave them alone. Yeah, be careful with them. You have to respect their territory. Uh, you know, a little hiding bin. This actually functions as a I'm a little wrapped up here now, a little handcuffs. <laughs> yes, you going are. On. But this works as a soaking tub. And if you turn it over, yes. uh, this is actually the snake's owned by one of my technicians. She's cut yeah. the little hole out so he can hide underneath that, too. Oh, there you go. Too. I like that. Well, let's end on a nice shot of the handcuff job that Helio has done. <laughs> she, he's got you all tied up. It must mean he loves you dearly. He does. And he's a great all, little guy. We all do, Dr. Jill. Helio, you come see us anytime. Uh, you, you are very well behaved. If you uh, have any questions, for Dr. Jill, or if you'd like to schedule an appointment for your snake or, you know, maybe a more common pet, uh, give her a visit on our website, drjill.com, D R J Y L, or her number is right there on your screen, Jill. It is always nice to see you, even when you bring snakes. Thanks, Paul. Okay.